What is up YouTube, man? It is early right now. It's about 6 a.m. I woke up really early. The reason is because I haven't uploaded a good video in a couple days, man. So the goal is to go to work a little early today. Believe it or not, it's been just a little bit more than one month since I started working on my second developer job. I've learned so much. There's been a lot of things I'm learning about myself and I figured I'd share with you guys how my first month at my new company has been as soon as it gets to the office. Let's go. All right guys, what is up YouTube? So it is actually lunchtime right now. Uh, I came to work early to get some things done because there's this one project that's pretty like complex and detailed and I'm trying to get that done right now. So I came to work pretty early. I, 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 feel, like, I feel like I might actually have the flu, so I don't feel too well. I sound energetic, but that's not really how I feel inside. So I'm gonna try to do this video for you guys really quick right now. So I wanna go ahead and give you a one month update of how it's really been for me working at my company after being here for more than one month right now. And I guess what I wanna talk about right now first are really the struggles, right? And the things that I'm learning and the things that I really enjoy about my company. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in that order right now and get this video for you really quickly. So here we go, let's do this right now. I've been coding as a junior developer at my first company and there's definitely a lot of things that I'm learning that I've never done before. Well, I think one of the things that I am trying to adjust with still, which I do like because I'm extremely competitive with myself, is that because I work for a publishing company, things are very fast paced here. Things need to get done quickly here, meaning like, like these projects that are that are given to me, when products are given, they're expected to be done in a sufficient way. You don't waste too much time in it. Of course, you know, there are times when I'm exhausted. For example, yesterday, I literally coded for eight hours straight, trying to get used to getting things done quickly. Um, more than that, one of the things I've been struggling with, and actually I think I finally overcame that hump, is getting familiar with the code base. I feel like I finally overcame that hump with the code base because I'm very comfortable now with what I'm trying to do, at least with the projects they've been giving me. Of course, there are more projects I'll be given. I've been coding more in PHP, particularly today and yesterday. Through that, I've also learned a lot in regards to how much I can do and how much I limited myself before. And because I'm working with this company, although I'm struggling, it's a good struggle for me personally as I see it because through struggling is how you get better. It's when you're having a hard time with projects and learning code is when you get better as developer in general because the only way you get better is by doing things you haven't done before. It's like working out. The, the, strong, the heavier the weights you lift, the stronger you get, right? Um, the more you play basketball, the, you only get better at playing people who are better than you, not play, by playing people who are not as good as you because that's too easy, right? And that's the exact same way with coding and that's why I enjoy what I'm struggling with at this company. I mean, there's a lot things I could talk about, but I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, secondly, now next, what I want to talk about are things that I'm really learning now after my first month here at my new company. I'm learning that I do not know that much. I mean, I'm very comfortable with HTML, CSS. SAS was really easy to learn working with that too. And like, I'm just realizing that I have so much more to learn and it's very humbling. And I, I like it because it shows that there's so much more I can learn, meaning there's so much more, that I still have so much more potential. And even as a front-end developer, there's a lot more that I could honestly do in regards to code right now for example working materialize i'm so used to working in bootstrap one thing that i learned and i i used to hate on these frameworks on the bootstrap and materialize because I don't realize how important it is to get the pages done very quickly. So I'm learning that learning things like Bootstrap and Materialize are really important when it comes to coding because uh, these frameworks that you use, right? These libraries or whatever you call it, right? These frameworks help you get the job done more quickly. I'm learning that you need to learn to use these tools and more than hating on it, like why can't you code it from scratch? Heck no, I do not want to code straight from plain CSS anymore. I'm done with that. I'm happy with HTML, CSS. I mean, I'm happy with Bootstrap or Materializer or, or using what I need to do. Or there are times I'll use Flexbox. But one thing I've really learned more than anything is that you have to be able to know what tools you need for a particular project from the beginning. Because that can determine if you can get the project done in time or not. And secondly, I mean, it's, it helps you get more efficient and the sooner you get the project done, the more time you have to really double, double check, triple check, quadruple check your projects and making sure you get them done in, in, in quickly pretty much, right? Another thing I'm learning is really being able to work with a team. Uh, you know, I'm so used to doing everything on my own from 
the code to design but here at this company i'm actually working with ui ux designers which is honestly to me personally is pretty amazing i mean i'm working with this really good designer right i'm um, ui ux designer i could i guess you could say and he's really good and these things that he's designing i would have never thought of doing on my own and more than anything right one of the things that i'm learning so much is that because he's creating these really beautiful designs the design of these pages so nice i'm trying to implement things i never thought was even possible and so with these projects i'm learning a lot about how much more there is in web development how web development is so powerful and it really makes sense why we get paid as well as we do because the things that we're able to do and the things that we need to do are so important and could really make a page look good or not good it can make a page easy to navigate or not through just the tiniest detail. It's really important to be able to pay attention to the details. And I'm learning that, and, and I've I've known that, how important that is. So as someone, where well, I used to actually draw a lot. I create videos, the details are very important. I'm not encoding, but here, even the designers make this tiniest small detail changes on things. Or for example, I need to be able to recognize, wait, that detail might not work with the code that we're trying to write. And so I need to be able to communicate with the designer as well. But yeah, I mean, I'm just learning so much. I'm learning that I'm very thankful that I went to the industry because it's very fun. And I I just, I just love it, man. <laughs> Last but not least, what I love so much about my new company, and I'll talk about that right now. What I love so much about this company is the culture. The people here are absolutely amazing. The managers that I work with are absolutely amazing. My CTO was really cool, so laid back. A culture is so important to a company. I'm not used to having this kind of culture. And what I mean by culture, what makes culture so amazing, they make you feel valuable. They genuinely do care about you and they do care about the work that you do as well they care about the things that you have to take care of. they care about how much you know if a project would be a waste of time if um, they have our backs and i feel valuable and no one's on my back there's no micromanagement you know as long as get the projects done and to be honest i feel like because they 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 give us so much ownership in our projects i want to get the projects done more quickly because i'm so thankful for how well they treat us here it's i, I can't even explain how amazing this feels it's just cool man i mean other than the, the free snacks every friday um donuts and the unlimited coffee that stuff is cool those are all perks but i just i love being here i love coding and i feel like going and joining this company made my love for code grow even that much more I think it's very important that as a developer that you find a company that you just love going to work. I mean, I'm sick. And even though I was sick, I still woke up at 6 in the morning, came straight here to work because I look forward to coding. Even on Monday mornings, I love waking up early Monday morning so I can code. That is what makes me so happy, to be honest, because coding requires so much creativity, logic. And you put that together, you bring so much value to a company, which I've never been able to do before, right? So, yeah, I mean, that is how my first month has been here at entrepreneur it's been amazing uh i mean being in the fact that you know i was able to help someone else get a job in this awesome company is i i'm so thankful that i even have the opportunity to give uh, which i wouldn't have had before i'm just happy i'm happy i'm more happy than i've ever been i can't explain it man i feel free i feel free i have freedom i never thought for someone who had no degree did not finish college dropped out after six months to be honest um, someone who was in special ed, someone who, you know, I, I wasn't considered smart in school to be where I am today. It blows my mind away, right? But it's all because I put hard work and you could do the exact same thing. And the reason I'm making this video is I'm hoping that this video will encourage others to take that step and that leap into the, co in the world of industry and check out how much of a difference it can make in your life. Two years ago, I was a company I hated, not my coding job, my, as, when I was an executive assistant, I was never happy at that job as an assistant. And now I'm here because I decided to try something, right? So anyway, that's how my first month has been here at Entrepreneur. Hope you guys like the video. If you can, please like this video. Let me know if you watched the whole thing. And let me know if you have any questions too for me or Jay Lopez or whoever you want, right? We'll end the video here. This is Krishan. This is Lifeboy Developer. And I'm out, guys. Peace.